Welcome back, my fellow to Against Two Oxygen. Not included today, I have some more spaced out DLC in, in the last video here. Now, in the last video here, we built many of these space farrier modules right here and, and went inside of here to build up a nice farm. And as it turns out, this is working very well. However, it did give me another idea, and that is what all can we put inside of these modules? And just as a random thought, what if we could build an entire base inside of the rockets inside of here we can build a certain type of a room so we have all of these different ones latrines washrooms barracks mess halls all of that stuff build one inside of each rocket here and then we can literally have a colony of rockets our dupes have become belters and we can just fly to whatever asteroid we need to harvest the stuff we want and then continue on flying to the next location and by the way many of you guys did let me know that yes, you can build this without the little rocket engine on the bottom. I think that looks pretty good. Although I do think it looks a little bit better if you were to put a little top on it. I think technically we can even get rid of this. And yes, you can absolutely stack these in such a way that the rockets don't interfere with each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, a big thanks to everybody that bought a sweepy recently. I've completely sold out once again. So with these changes in mind, let's go ahead and just deconstruct this stuff down here. because I don't need that anymore. This list over here on the right is plenty long as is. We'll keep that row right there, get rid of the rest of these. So here's the layout that I have going on up here. Several rockets right next to each other, just like this. And we'll have like the bedrooms and all of that stuff in one rocket. And then we'll kind of have a, probably a bathroom and whatnot. And they can kind of move between these. I'm not trying to make each one of them be like self-contained. I'm trying to make each one be a module that is like a part of a colony. So you can like just put them in, bring them in, however many you need, <laughs> and just like configure your own little colony on whatever planet happened to be on. So while we have the normal sort of buildings, there's other buildings that might be slightly different. For example, if you wanted to ranch Paku, but you wanted to do it in a rocket, what would that look like? I feel like this could get really interesting. For example, inside of here, what I'm trying to think of is how do I make a module that allows me to make ice. You might be wondering why ice? Because the reason is I'm going to have to cool some of these little places where my dupes are staying because they're going to require power and power gives off heat. And the smallest and most condensed way I can think of to actually remove heat is to use one of these icy fans. Now that ice will probably be made of frozen pee, so it's gonna be like swamp cooling your space station with your own pee, but you get the idea, it'll be interesting. But this does make for some interesting design choices. For example, if this thing gives off heat and a fair amount of it, how do I keep that from overheating? Well, I need to have a steam turbine, don't I? So let's think about this. This gives off 16,000 DTUs per second. I've made it out of steel. So now it's overheat temperature is 275 degrees Celsius. If exposed to a steam turbine, it'll be just fine. But if this whole environment here, like all of this, right down here was steam, it'd probably try to melt the ice out of that. Hmm, so what do I do with this? You see how this is just kind of a, an intriguing idea. How do you... Okay, let's start off with a nice, simple room. Inside of here, I think I'll just go ahead and build some barracks. Let's see just how many dupes we can fit inside of here and maybe take a look at possibly what sort of oxygen system we might want to put in here. So, we start with the cots, granite. You can fit four right there and another four right there for a total of about eight. Hey, that's not bad. However, that doesn't leave us with enough space for something like an Atmosuit checkpoint or, you know, maybe an oxygen mask system or something like that. I'm guessing you probably want your dupes inside of that stuff, you know, inside of those suits if they're gonna be going and running between rockets all the time. Maybe not, it might not be needed. However, if we change it up just a little bit here, oh, you know what, we could actually put comfy beds inside of here. Oh, okay. Two Atmos suit docks, a canister emptier for oxygen, and what I'm going to do is throw in a little gas vent over here. So if I end up with carbon dioxide, which will happen, I can actually get rid of it right there. So to do that, I'm going to filter this so that only oxygen goes inside of here. So we can use a gas pipe element sensor right there. A little bit of automation between the two. Boop, just like that. And then this runs out over there. Okay. <laughs> you very, very quickly run out of room. <sighs> now the thing is, I don't think I have enough heat here to really worry about 
temperature. But if I did, this is where the IC fan would come in. So I need four tiles to keep that. Plus I need a spot for temperature because I don't want it to, you know, freeze my whole base out. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm. But since I'm always going to be delivering oxygen here, well, I can't guarantee the oxygen's going to be cool. Now can I? I know, Stinky. There's so much to think about. This is where, like, tiny batteries and whatnot would really come in handy. And as it turns out, in a recent update here, these brave devs have enabled mod support for the Spaced Out DLC. Now, there is some things that need to happen in order for those mods apparently to be used here, so I don't have any enabled at the moment. But if there were certain mods that you're looking forward to, then maybe they will show up here soon. Has anybody enabled the new buildings yet? A smelter? Ooh, who's suffocating? Hold up. Mark! Doops! No, 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 no. Okay, put your suit back on. All right, so we can see where this arrangement is going. It's coming together. But what if I wanted to make a barracks? Well, let's jump over to a brand new ship and this time change it up a little bit. So the ladder will be right there and then we'll head on over this way. Boop. Take the checkpoint and all of the docks. Try to figure out where I could put the bedroom. <laughs> Maybe I gotta do the cots over here like this and then allow the ladder right down here and then the industrial equipment. You see what I mean? Like it, there's, I don't know, there's definitely different ways to arrange things in order to get what you want. And that's what makes this really interesting. It's like a little puzzle game. Uh, okay, yeah, that might be a little bit better. No, son, put your suit on. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, this pipe goes in here. This one comes out over there. Mm, nope. Unless the pipe is full. Ha ha ha. Maybe. And then it flows back in. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's taking a long time to build that rocket stuff up there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to connect this transit tube right here. That might allow my dupes to move a little bit faster. All right, so while the idea of having all of these different little bedrooms inside of space ferry modules that you can then fly all over the place is really quite interesting. And the act of going inside of here and designing this inside of this tight little package right there is pretty cool, especially from kind of a sandbox perspective. Recording it in a let's play for YouTube is super boring. <laughs> I end up with all of these tiny little projects where I just build and unbuild everything a thousand times. So I decided to throw a few hours of footage out the window as to not put you guys to sleep. But I will show you what I've come up with thus far. Of all the things I've made thus far, this is probably the most interesting building. It's a flying heatsink, essentially. It has a steam turbine up here and then an aqua tuner down below, uh, like we've seen a bunch of times but it's running an ice maker and that ice maker allows us to take some of the cooling capacity that I have over here and then take it to different modules wherever I might need a little bit of cooling, which then might possibly melt and therefore I need a pitcher pump in order to move the liquid back to where it came from. <laughs> really quite weird. Thankfully, the game has provided me with an excellent opportunity to show you how that works because my gold volcano over here has decided to solidify and therefore overcome its vacuum limitations spreading lots of heat into my base. <laughs> so things are getting a little bit crispy over here. And the first thing I need to do here is insulate this so that my dupes don't melt to death up here. As you can see, it's, so, it's just 91 degrees Celsius, kind of hot. However, to deal with that heat quickly, one of the things I'm going to try to build up is some icy fans. That's right, we're gonna build three of those right there. And I do have access to ice all the way down here. All right, so step one, isolate the heat. Step two, build a way to get rid of it. I don't know if I have cots. Do I have cots? Build cots. We are not prepared. Uh-oh, dupes are getting crispy. Avoid 3D, quick. <laughs> it's only 100 degrees Celsius now. Oh, and to top things off, you only have 3,000 calories of food. Hmm, these dupes are in trouble. All right, dupes, this is like 200 degrees Celsius. If there's anything that you should get done, that would be isolating the heat right here. We don't need, <laughs> we don't need, what is this? Holy moly, are you seeing that number? 10,000 kilograms of gold right there? Whoa, meep. I might have to send you over here, bud. These dupes are struggling. Change the crew, set the destination. Inside of here, oh yes, 
Look at all of these pips. I think we're good to go. Plus, we got a little bit of food there. This will be good. Go help them out, Meep. Acknowledge the warnings. Launch! Yum. All right, so there we go. Nuffy's digging up some of the ice over here. Ooh, look at that. Negative 65 degrees Celsius. That's going to be good. All right, Meep. Go save them, buddy. All right. <clears throat> Dupes. Priority level, please. Things are getting hot over here. And what do you do, Nuffy? You jump on the icy fan. What what did the exclamations mean? Oh, they mean you can't get there. I see. <laughs> My bad. My bad. All right, so there we go. Now I've isolated the heat. And now all I have to deal with is this stuff out here. That's relatively hot. So we'll set the priority up nice and high. We'll deliver some ice to this and get those things up and running. And if you mouse over this, you can see that the heat production is minus 32,000 DTUs. Not bad. This right here is the finest space age technology that we have to offer. So when we put it inside of here, it's going to work perfectly. Let me tell you what. Hey, so what I've done inside of here, ha, ah, I didn't even know I had any of this, is I put some ethanol inside of there. The reason I'm putting ethanol inside of here to run through this aqua tuner is because when we look at ethanol for the liquid, it has a freezing point of negative 114 degrees Celsius. So it can get really, really cold. So the power efficiency here is definitely not going to be on the same level as, let's say, water. However, the l temperature that we can get down to is below freezing, which means we should be able to store up ice if we wanted to, and it won't melt. There might be some other ways to solve the same problem, but you know what, that's where my brain's at right now. And then inside of here, I'll use a canister emptier, and we'll fill this environment with Probably just oxygen. I have two canister fillers here that are being filled with oxygen So that's why I'm just filling everything with oxygen that and if your suit ever runs out of oxygen You can leave your suit on and then just go in here and breathe wherever it needs to breathe for our space farms Filling it with carbon dioxide makes a ton of sense If you go down here and you actually look at all the different plants that can survive in a carbon dioxide environment You can you can end up with a good number of them so you can see that the seeds that I'm able to store up over here, blossom seeds, bog buckets, fungal spore, grub fruit, all of that. If I have any of that, I can plant it wild over here. Boom, grow it up, no problem. I've also gone ahead and put a farm station over here. So not only are we getting grub grub rubs, but we're also getting the farmer's buff on that. So that's 150% on wild plants. I mean, so long as you get both of them. So for example, look at this dust cap right here. Normally it takes 30 cycles for me to harvest this thing. But look at this, we're at 58%. The next harvest is in 4.9 cycles. Ha! <laughs> they grow so fast. All right, it's been a little bit. How are the dupes doing on versus the heat? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be here a while, aren't you? Meep, you're stealing these guys' poor... You're stealing their food, Meep. You have your own. Well, it seems like we're finally getting the heat under control over here. Meanwhile, in space, I'm building a recreation hall. Because, why wouldn't you? The question is, do I have enough diamond? Oh, I do. Diamond. Mmm. And carpeted tiles. Mmm, so very nice. I'm going to add a little bit of a jukebox over here. That way, not only can you relax on the beach, you can come inside, do a little jig, and we're going to throw down a nice little pixel pack in the background just to sweeten it up a little bit more. Some other things I'm doing here is we do have the icy fan. This one's hooked up to a thermal sensor, which opens the door, which will disable the icy fan since it doesn't have its own automation signal. That's pretty useful. I also have another smart battery over here over a clock sensor so that I can do the door open sort of thing. That way this power isn't on all day, you know, when the dupes aren't around to use the jukebox. Figure out whatever that timer needs to be so that we have a nice full battery. We can come in here, do the little jig. Everybody's happy. Meanwhile, these dupes are still at it. What's the heat down? What are we down to now? Oh, 50 degrees Celsius. Hey, that's that's doing good. Just a bit more. Oh, desktop, you're already giving it a try. <laughs> I've got an imbalance over here with my power system now. Uh, I messed around with this to make a little bit more oxygen here. But in doing so, I cut off my petroleum feed, which then cut off my power, and now I'm having power issues. But the crude oil is coming back, so that's good, which means we should get there pretty soon. Monk, you're trapped, bud. 
Oh, that's a lot of kilograms right there. I tell you what, Monk, I don't want to open this up. So if you could just put that on and then just hang out for a little bit. Don't worry, we'll get the power back on. You'll be fine. Oh no, now more dupe showed up. Uh, Monk, you might have to share that suit. Oh geez, they're all here. <laughs> Darn it, I just got the carbon dioxide down to something reasonable. <laughs> Unequip suit. Camille, you put it on for a little bit. How you doing? Ah, oh, jeez, no, not more dupes. They keep... <laughs> no, no. I tell you what, if we break this open, at least it has a little bit further to go. There you go. So now you can run up here, dupes, right? You can, can you... Ah, blast. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Cancel that, cancel that. Just a little bit of oxygen found its way in. See, now we got power. We're okay. We're, 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 uh, um, dupes, petroleum generator, please. I don't have a choice. <sighs> dupes, that's a long run, but you're gonna have to make it. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Holy mo, no, look at all the carbon dioxide. Blast. Oh, oh. All right, well, I've sealed it back up. And now we're tuning this sucker up so I have more power. Please, there we go. All right. Whew. All right, so where was I? Ah, yes. Recreation. Oh, man, all that carbon dioxide. Jeez. Dupes. What was down below a kilogram is now nearly two. But look at it, this is 98 kilograms per tile. You slicksters. We're supposed to vent the extra to space. You're so not doing that. Speaking of space, how have we done here? All right, so here's all the different rockets I have that actually have some sort of habitation inside of it. This one here, I've got four of them over here, and I've got another three over here on the left. These guys, no, I haven't gotten to them yet. But what I should be able to do is take these rockets here with their little habitations and whatnot, and then land them over here on these platforms and I could label the platforms for what I want that to be. So I can kind of reorganize this. And that way all my dupes are relatively close by to where they need to go to get into the rest of the base. So now I'm just getting rid of the floors that I used to build the rocket, replacing them with ladders down there. I don't know if I even need to do that, but I'm doing it anyhow. Oh yes, there we go. Look at all of this. Carbon dioxide flowing into all of these engines for all of the rockets. Ooh, yeah. And then I've gone down here and I've relabeled all of the different platforms. So we got bedrooms, barracks, the latrine, the great hall, our kitchen, the ice machine, rec room. I don't remember what else I made. <laughs> Probably need some sort of shower room because I wasn't able to fit that in there. But technically, I should be able to go like this. Say, I could just fly out there. And if this is set to auto, right? Just go to auto. Somebody might actually have the errand of going up there and doing it. Maybe. Let's see here, we got a bunch of pilots, so I can just do this number. Boom, 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 boom. All right, you wanna see something cool? Watch this. Boom. Yes. Many rockets. <laughs> And they're all in the same spot. Perfect. All right, so let's view interior. Meep, which one do you have? Ah, you have the ice machine. You are gonna fly right back down here, except for not any landing pad. Nope, um, oh gosh, it scrolls off the screen. Land on the ice machine, please. Turner, well, you look happy. You must be new at this. You're going to head right down here and you're going to land on the barracks. Hassan, you don't look to be having too much fun. Anyhow, you're gonna land right down here on the bedroom pad. Nice. Camille, what? What? Camille, you're peeing in your suit, but you're literally in the rocket with the latrine here. The washroom, I should say. Guess I gotta change the name of that one. But whatever. You get the idea. Boosh. <laughs> I like it. 
Uh, that's good stuff. We just set this all real quick. Boop, boop, boop. Go do your thing. You know what? At first, I really wasn't sure about this idea. But after that spectacle, I'm sold. Be free, my rockets. Go. <laughs> okay, yeah, this has really come together. So what I have going on here is I have a bunch of canister fillers just filling up with oxygen. I could mix it and I could do carbon dioxide as well on some of these if I really wanted to, but that allows me to get oxygen into these environments fairly quickly. I think I can go ahead and slap in a couple of dupes here if I really wanted to. Ineligible. There. Desktop. What if I bring you in here and then I make you sleep? There you go. See, now you're assigned. Wait, I already got a dupe sleeping in here. Who's sleeping here? Turner? Why are you sleeping here, bud? All right. <laughs> um, oh, because he's on the crew. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is weird. So the thing is, you can only set them to be in this cot if they're first in the rocket. So what I'm doing is I'm setting them up as part of the crew, and then I set it to crew and I bring them in here, and that's when I assign them to the cot. As we can tell, the game wasn't necessarily set up to work this way, but hey, it is working. There's Hassan, one more. There we go. Hi, Monk. And you're assigned right there. Interesting. Okay. So now if I set this to all, they're still assigned. Okay. Huh. If there's one thing I'm definitely going to need is a lot of Atmos who docks. All right, so let me take you on a quick tour of some of the buildings that I have built thus far or in the process of building. So this right here is going to be the kitchen. We have a gas range, uh, an electric grill. I may not be able to get this one to work. I don't know. We'll have to see if I can get natural gas in here uh, from now that I think about it. Mm, yeah, yeah, that might be difficult unless I fill it with natural gas. Huh. Okay. I also built a barracks, as you've already seen. There's a little extra space over there. Not exactly sure how... How to get everything to fit in there but it is working when you go to eat at the end of the day well we've got this nice great hall right here nice again plenty of extra room inside of this one and oxygen probably don't need any more oxygen i have a couple of bedrooms in here for dupes that have a slightly higher morale than everybody else this arrangement here seems to work out a little bit better again if i were to scale up the barracks or the bedrooms i'd probably choose the bedrooms at this time i'm working on setting up the washroom so we can take the water that I've dropped off here, pipe it up there, get that thing circulating. And then when we have extra clean water, it'll drop down here. And I'll swap this pump out with a pitcher pump so that we can take that water and turn it into ice in the next building, which is this one right here. So the ice machine makes ice so that we can cool down various other space capsules that might get a little bit too hot. There's not a ton of power that comes out of this one. But then again, we're still trying to heat up the little bit of water that's in there. Plus, I guess I haven't enabled that, so. This might be better off with a smart battery in order to enable or disable this on a timer. No, yeah, still playing around with that idea. As you've already seen the natural farm here, <laughs> it is working wonders. At this point, I've already got two rows. I haven't even been focusing it on, on it that much, but it's pretty easy. Once you get the seeds in here, you just copy that down, get rid of it, boop, and then delete it. And then the pips go and do their things, and then bam, all of that stuff happens. Get rid of the grooming station and replace it with a farming station. Nice. I do have one of these, that's for observing planets so that we can go out and detect them. We've got Meep's super luxurious rocket, fit with his own little pip ranch down here. Oh, oh, but look at Meep, he's found the wreck hall over here. Oh, yes, don't enjoy it too much, Meep. Look at that, mmm, beautiful. So there you have it, the rocket module concept as far as building a base that you can actually fly to different asteroids. Interesting. I like it. At any rate, that's all I got time for today. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar. Out.